this video, I will show you how to draw a sodium chloride NaCl crystal structure by using Vista software. So first go to the Google and type crystallography open database. Go to this website. Click on the search. Over here, type the atom name, the sodium and the chloride. And then number of minima and maximum atom. And click on the same. Over here you will find the CI file for sodium chloride with FM-3M space group. That is a cubic structure. Click on the CI file. The CI file will be downloaded. Now go to the Google again and type for Vista software. Click on the download Vista. Over here you will find the Vista software for Windows, Mac and the Linux. So depending on your OS, select any one zip file and download it. I have downloaded Vista software. Go to the download folder and drag the CI file. Okay, so this is the unit cell of NACL. If you click on the objective, you can find out the color for sodium is yellow and for chlorine is green. Click over here, you can change the color. So let's select blue. And for this one, maybe iron. Okay. So then you can go and click on the edit over here you can find the edit data phase so this is sodium chloride title if you click on the unit cell is a cubic unit cell with a space group of fm minus 3m space group is 2 to 5 lattice constant is 5.62 and the alpha beta is a cubic so is 90 90 90 if you click on the structure parameter then you can find the cartesian coordinate for sodium is 0, 0, 0, and for chlorine is 0 0.5 0 0.5 and 0.5 so close this one again you can go and click on the edit you can find out detail about the bond vector if you want to draw some lattice plane so let's select this and uh, let's click on the new and over here this is lattice plane of 100 0. so you can see the pink color is 100 0. if you change if you want to change this one to say 111 1, 1, 1 one then it can change to one 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 if you want to move it position so this is multiplied d and this is distance from the origin is 5.62 so if you change this number it will change the position of this plane so let's consider the spacing of one so plane will be over here and click ok so this way the plane is located at this place okay and uh, here you may be wondering about this extra chlorine atom so how to delete those uh, maybe you can select the orientation along a axis and then select this option and select the atom and just pre press the delete button on the keyboard so just repeat it for all the other atoms Similarly, you can click around the B and just oh, sorry, select this atom, delete it to the same for here and the C. That's all. So now this is your unit cell. Sorry. So this is the unit cell. Over here, you can find the option for zoom plus and minus and also this one it will help you to move unit cell along the right and left this one help you to rotate the unit cell and uh, i think what we can do if you want to generate the xrd of this unit cell what you can do is go to the utility and click on the powder diffraction pattern so it will go to the new window and over here click on the condition and you can reduce number of wavelength to one uh, you can define the wavelength so this is by default copper k alpha which is 1.54 and then click on the calculate so it will help you to generate the reflection list over here you can find the two theta values as well as the d spacing and the hkl plane and if you go to the plot you will find the xrd plot now this plot these values can be compared with the experimental xrd if you have any and then from that you can know about the lattice constant and also if you want to know the impurity you can compare the peak and their intensity if you want to know how to perform retro refinement you can check out my other video do share and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon button